of what I loved as a child. Hot dogs have a totally different meaning to me now because of one day at Walt Disney World. For me, growing up, hot dogs were a great thing, and they were so special, and you, you had them at these dinners and these cookouts, and they were always around. I can vividly remember going to a Baltimore Orioles game and ordering a hot dog, and it was so cool. They wrote the name Orioles in mustard. I thought it was just the best thing in the world. So we're eating hot dogs, and my sister eats the O off of the hot dog. The best letter, because that was what was all fancy. So I should have known then that hot dogs were going to curse me in my, in my long run. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, I am here to tell you how hot dogs and Walt Disney World ruined my life. <laughs> Like I said, I grew up eating hot dogs on a very regular basis. Even those like gross ones who you don't know if they're really made out of meat or not, you question it, didn't matter. Ate them all. <laughs> Loved them. Couldn't get enough of them. I even watched a special on TV about hot dogs, and there was a shop in Chicago called Super Dog. My family and I had a family vacation to Chicago for the sole reason of eating hot dogs. And of course, it was on the complete opposite side of town, took an hour and a half to get there, but hot dogs were a big deal for me. And I, of course, love hot dogs, or Chicago-style hot dogs now. The second sign that I should have taken about hot dogs being cursed for me was when I started working at Walt Disney World. I worked on Main Street USA, and if you've ever been there, when you enter the street on the left-hand side, there is a shop called Casey's Corner where they sell hot dogs. My job at Disney was to move people around during the parades, and that was a corner that could not be blocked because it was how ambulance and EMTs and whoever else needed to come through during these high traffic times would move around. It was my downfall. The hot dogs once again tarnished the name of everything that was good. So then comes the day, the infamous day and in what I call the work shift from hell. <laughs> so as a, you know, snappy cast member who was all dressed in her cute little costume with her shorts down to her knees and her bonnet on, I packed up ready to go work a shift in food service, which I was not formally trained in. I was trained in retail and I was told that I could run the, the registers at these food shops. I walk in, I'm ready to go. I get onto the computer and there's about 50 extra buttons that I had never used. And if you've ever been to Disney, you also know that there is about a million and one ways you can order a meal. So I go through and I mess up about four people's orders, have to call a manager over, which is impossible to find a manager at Walt Disney World. And they say, Madison, we're going to have you do something else. Why don't you go to the back, and we'll be back there in just a minute. I said, okay. All right. So I go back there, and they say, you're food safety certified, correct? And I said, yes, I'm food safety certified. What can I do? And they said, well, remember how they taught you to wash dishes with the three bins? And I was like, oh, of course I do. Of course. Okay. So they send me back to this little alcove. And while I'm back there, I am scrubbing dishes. My hands are soaked. I'm pruny. And the gloves, it was just, just a waste of time. Next thing I know, I've got little cuts all over. And then the tray of hot dog bins or pans comes down the line to be cleaned. And I cleaned hot dog pans for four and a half hours. And I had to go through and take the hot dogs out. I had to scrub what was burnt onto the pans. Still to that day, to this day, that smell is infiltrated in my mind. Does everybody know that, you know, you have that one food, you just instant trigger memory and you hate it? That is what a hot dog is to me. So to make things worse, I, you know, four and a half hours into washing dishes, who wants to wash dishes for four and a half hours? So I finally asked, can I, can I go do something else? And they said, well, you're responsible for the trash. And this being my first shift in food service, no one ever told me. So I go out and the trash is overflowing and I get it out and 
of course at Disney there is no trash you you see these black bins that just kind of magically take things away well the cast member pushing that bin was myself and I get to the trash can which is mm, pretty good quarter of a mile away and I have to get these trash bags up into the dumpster and this dumpster just reeks the smell is intoxicatingly gross I'm nauseous I'm upset as it is that I have had to ruin hot dogs in my life. I knew instantly that hot dogs, it was just over. So <laughs> it, was, it was a very detrimental day. So I pick up this trash bag and I go, and what falls all over me? Oh hot dogs and hot dog juice. Oh. My day was just over at that point. So they said, okay, it's time for your lunch, Madison. So I take my lunch. I'm trying to come back from it. I'm a pretty positive person. So I'm like, you know, this is what you do. You put in the tough work. So I, I get in and then they say, Madison, you're gonna go to this kitchen. I said, okay. So I get to the kitchen and what do I have to do? I have to put hot dogs in buns to serve to customers. So of course I wasn't fast enough because it was 5 p.m. in the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> hot dog loving time. So, moral of the story was, I just was not meant to work in food service. And hot dogs had cursed me from the start. And Walt Disney World and I, and hot dogs, we just don't mix. So when I walk by those hot dog carts, I got my blinders on, making sure I just don't see anything. I try to hold my nose so I don't get the smell. So that is my story and how hot dogs have ruined me and my life. Thank you.